Hey guys, Rob John Webb here for Waxidus Music, and what I want to show you today is how to come up with a quick sketch of a tune if you're a songwriter or you want to make some tracks and stuff, um, and you want to come up with something quickly um, without having to go through countless VSTs, which is what we all suffer from today. Now, back in the day when I started making music in the early to mid 90s, I had one sampler, one Atari ST, and usually one keyboard, one synth, and that would have been uh, a Roland D5, and then I traded that in and I bought a Korg X5D. So basically, I had one keyboard synth and I made the most out of it at that time. You know, I would use all 60 mini channels and so on and so on. Um, and the thing is, today, we have such an abundance of stuff available to us. It's overwhelming and we just sometimes get bogged down with having too much stuff. So what I want to do is use one BST and show you how to come up with a quick little jam, um, a jazz funk sort of hip hop breakbeat sort of thing, I suppose. Um, but this, this can apply to any genre. Um, and I've just come up with a quick sketch just to show you how to get the most out of one BST where you can quickly draw up ideas. For example, if you're a songwriter and you're a lyricist or whatever, you need a quick demo. Um, and this is the best way to do it. So um, I've got a little break beat here, a little beat. Um, and I've gone and got the, the Surge, which is basically this. It's an open source BST. It's completely free for Windows and Mac. Um, and it's constantly being added to. So you can grab that from the website, Surge XT, just to Google that. Um, and within the electric pianos, the keys section, I've got the EP2, which is um, a nice little Rhodes. And I'm just going to record in some chords, basically like this, look. Simple little notes like that, and then we're going to build a track quickly around that. So it's quick, quick jamming. Let's go for it. that and then just quantize those chords. So the chords I've used are A minor 7, um, E minor 7, and a, basically it's a, uh, a D minor 7. Um, let's quantize them and legato those. And then the last one is back to the E minor again. <laughs> and then I'm going to loop that um, and we'll go from there. Let's have a look at that. What I'm going to do for that is I'm going to quickly cheat, not cheat, but just add a little auto filter to it um, and just give it a little bit of. Just a little bit of character, just a little bit of LFL on there, just give it that kind of wobble, just to give it a bit of enhancement. Right, next up then is the, um, the synth bass. So in the synth bass, this is just in the bass category, bass number two, and it's a kind of like. Simple bass notes, and let's just whack them in. Let's just get to the uh, start. And there we go. Two little patterns there um, that go across the screen. Let's just quantize them. There we go. I'll stick another road over as well so you can get the feel for that on that bass there. There you go. Next up then, I'm going to get a little high string sound, which is like a pad from the pad section called the warm pad. Um, but I'm going to use high notes like this up. And then we're going to record them in like so. And here goes. And it's very straightforward little demo, obviously. But the idea is just to give you an idea of just use one BST. You don't have to use hundreds and hundreds of them and spend hours searching for that sound. You know, obviously you can do if you've got time, but sometimes you just want to knock a tune off. Um, and that's that. Okay, next up then, I've got some like flutes, but they're like kind of like a synthesized flute from the wind section down here. 
a dreamy flute. And this, I just want to add like a jazz funk sort of vibe to this. And... <laughs> You know, that kind of sort of groovy sort of 70s sound. And I'm just going to whack a little lead down on top. Here we go. And there we go. A very simple lead line um, in there up on the higher octaves. And then quantize that. Let's have a look at that. But I've just got to do the triplet there, look. Let's get that right there. There we go. Bring that back. So you imagine we've got a little track building up here. We're going to leave, move the roads across like so. The, the bass across, keep the bass first, then the pads, right? Imagine you're building a track, you want to write a song, you know, you've got a, a track going for a little while, go that across there and just start to build the track over like this. Look, so you get the roads, keep doing the bass and that over there. Like that. And then we'll drop out the pad there, this tri string, and then we'll kick it back in at the end, like so, and then put that there, like that. So imagine this. You start your track off. demo you could write some lyrics on it and start building a track and then when you've got more time you know add other things for other things but the idea is just to use one vst and just see what you come up with and just see how quickly you produce work when you feel like maybe if you're using too many synths you end up getting a little bit of a brick wall so that's it really just a short and sweet little demo hope you've taken from that and don't forget to go and get the surge if you've not got it already thank you guys and i'll see you in the next video